talking about a topic known as the Schwarzschild radius. And if you visited my site, you know that the topic has been the theory of relativity for pretty for pretty long. But the topic is going to be changed to the Schwarzschild radius and the topic of what a black hole is and what it does. What's it, what is it made of and how is it made? Okay, so this is Earth and this is a black hole. These are separate pictures. They are there's not a black hole there compared to Earth. And if you haven't tell if you couldn't tell by now, this is not an accurate this is not an accurate representation of Earth or a black hole. It's just for reference. So basically Earth No, 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 no sorry. Basically the Schwarzschild radius is the area in which an object has to be compressed to to make a black hole. So let's say that's a two inch length. That is the area that the Earth would have to be compressed to. The entire Earth compressed into the size of two inches to become a black hole. Now this is a black hole and what a black hole is is when an object is compressed to a very 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 small point. I'm actually going to draw this down here. It is called a singularity. It's called a singularity. So basically what a singularity is, is when an object is crushed it is very very small and it has a very incredibly large uh, gravitational pull. And so basically even though you might think that an object that's that small um, is very very light, you know it's very small, you t you're basically taking all of Earth, compressing it into basically a, a few a, a few times the size of a marble. So like this, pretend this is Earth. It would still be as heavy as Earth is, but it would be this small. So if this was Earth compressed into this size, my hand would be crushed and I would be immediately sucked to it since it has a strong gravitational pull. So basically. What you see here is a black hole. The area around the black hole is basically light. Now, inside the black hole, you'll see a black ring, and inside of it is just complete darkness. Now, in between the yellow and the black here in my drawing is called the event horizon. Now, what the event horizon is, is a line. It's basically... Um, sorry about that. It's basically a line of no return. Sorry, that was a really bad drawing. But it's a line of no return. So basically, once you cross that line, you are pretty much dead. Unless you can find some way to travel faster than the speed of light. Which, as far as we know, is impossible. So... Let's talk about what would happen if you were to go into a black hole. Now, if again, if you've been on my website, you can see that the theory of relativity has been the topic for a while. And the theory of relativity states that uh, basically objects are move and pass through time relative to one another. So basically... If 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 there were t if there were two people floating in outer space and one started to move, this one right here could state could say to the other one uh, theoretically if you could talk in space, which you can't because there's no particles to transmit sound waves. But let's just say that you could. Uh, talk. The stick person over here could state, could say to that person, hey, why are you moving away? Or basically, he, to his, relative to him, he is staying still and the other person is moving away. But since there's nothing around you to reference your movement to, this, the person over here that's actually moving, to his perspective, relative to him, it would look like the 
uh, stick the guy over here is moving. So he could say to the other guy, no, I'm not moving, you're moving. And that is basically the theory of relativity. Very, very short definition. If you want to see me go in detail with that topic, please leave a comment down below and ask me to do that. Now, black, back to the topic of black holes. So, what would it look like if you went into a black hole, and what would it look like if there was someone standing watching you? So, let's say this... That head's gonna bother me. So, let's say... Let's say this person over here is watching you, and you are going into the black hole. Since, theoretically, gravity should affect time, and this has been proven that the theory really, that uh, how fast you're moving and gravity also affects time, uh, I'm going to give you a short example. Basically, what these scientists did was they took atomic clocks which are basically the most accurate clocks in the world. It's like, um, I don't know exactly how they work. I can't explain it to you right now. That's for another video. But basically, they're the most synchron they synchronize them exactly to the very millisecond. So basically, they were perfectly in sync. And basically, they took one, kept it uh, in a stationary position, and took a few others. They were all synchronized flew them around the world in different directions and came back and all the clocks were at different times meaning that they had all time had passed differently for all of the clocks so basically what it would look like if you went into a black hole is since the gravity would increasingly get stronger you to this guy watching you you would slow down gradually as you move towards the center or the singularity of the black hole until you reach the event horizon in which the light of yourself can't escape. So basically this person would never see you cross the event horizon since the light since the light reflecting off of you, what they see, cannot escape the black hole. So basically you would gradually slow down, slow down until you reach the event horizon in which to his perspective you would literally just stop. You would freeze in time. And to him you would gradually uh, you would gradually fade away until you just weren't there. But of course to you, you are moving regularly regularly through time. Sorry. You are moving regularly through time. So you, to your perspective, you wouldn't just stop. You would keep going and eventually, as far as we know it, die. Or you would be elongated in a process known as spaghettification. Where, basically, let's say the singularity or the center of the black hole is down here. Since it's incredibly strong uh, gravitational pull, the, uh, the your feet, or whichever part of your body is closest to the singularity, would be pulled stronger than the area at the very top of your, like, your head. And, basically, it would pretty much kill you. It would rip off your feet and slowly rip you to pieces. Well, I shouldn't say slowly. Because I don't really know. Why do I keep erasing everything? Mm. So basically that's what a black hole is. And that's what a singularity is. And a singularity is basically very, very small. Uh, or Yeah, singularity is. But the Schwarzschild radius is basically the small amount of space. Again, two inches, let's say. That the Earth <clears throat> compresses into. To become a black hole. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please drop a like and comment down below what you would like to see next, what topics you want to discuss, and uh, subscribe for more content.